life in there. So what were you trying to do there with them? Uh, lead. Okay. Maybe anywhere I point this hand, when this hand comes out and points, you should go. Okay. I don't care if that's through a fiery furnace. <laughs> Where you lead, I'll go. And even if I tried to hide in the depths of the sea, God is there leading you. Still there too. Psalm 139, 10. Good afternoon. John, Rob behind the camera, and Joel are gathered here again under this beautiful, sunny Friday afternoon. The work week is done. What an opportunity to come together in the power of the Holy Spirit and ponder the things of God, the Word of God, and grow in who He would have us to be. As you can see, John is growing. He's doing well. I need to be a good leader. We have spoke about that. And if we think about that, I'll ask you a question. Can the blind lead the blind? Won't they both fall into a ditch? Luke 6, 29. 39, excuse me, Luke 6, 39. And 40, Luke 6, 40 goes on to say that the teacher is the, the leader, but the student or the horse the disciple is not above the leader, is not above the Lord, not above the teacher. So, I need to be a good leader so he can follow. And one day, as he learns, he'll become a useful horse. But I want to give some demonstrations on leading. When we first come to faith, maybe the Lord needs to lead us real close. And he holds us right here close. Maybe he just holds us real close like this, and he does a little leading. Backing up is harder yet. All these things. God keeps us close. As we gain in, as we gain in experience, maybe we get a little bit more length. We get to do a little bit for God. And he gives us a little bit. He gives us a little bit of lead rope. Truth is, is God created everything, and his lead rope extends everywhere. He's in control, and he sees everything. So we have a leader that isn't blind. So I can be led by God, and God, as I'm obedient, he'll give me more length. And he'll let, my, he'll let me have a little more space as I abide in his word. He gives me life and space to reach people with the gospel. Maybe a little more lead. Pretty soon this horse is going with very little flag. 
As we train this horse, I need to be a good leader. He'll have more freedoms as he does what I ask, my will. As we find ourselves in the will of God, we will find pure joy, lasting joy. We will find freedom in Christ, not away from Christ. Not doing what we want, but by being led. My left hand is leading, the horse is following. We can change direction. God sees it all. He knows what direction we need to go. So we shorten up until he starts to have his direct steps directed. And then we can give him some more length. So don't be carried about by the news of the day. Don't be led by somebody that's blind and doesn't see it all. Be led by the one that created it all. Today's news, good, bad, or indifferent, It's just that, it's only for today. And our Lord says that a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. He is outside of time. But continue in the Word. Continue to be God's disciple. He's a good teacher. He sees it all. He won't let us be ashamed in a ditch. And one day, we'll be transformed into the image of Christ by the power of God for His glory. Amen.